بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحبك في الله as advice to the youth of Ahl al-Sunnah with Jama'ah wherever they may be is again advice that I first and foremost need to follow myself and that is to atlib al-ilm to seek Islamic knowledge because that ilm, ilm al nafiyah it helps you and assists you with worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala properly on basira wa fiqh and we know that the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam exalted and exhorted us to have fiqh fi deen. And let us know, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, that Allah Tabarak Wa Ta'ala, oh boy, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala commanded us with fiqh fi deen and that Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala loves those who have fiqh fi deen. That, that's a sign that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves someone is if he gives him fiqh, understanding of the religion. <clears throat> and the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that Allah uh, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam <clears throat> said, مَنْ يُرَدْ اللَّهُ بِيْخَيْرًا يُفَقْهُ فِي الدِّينَ Whenever Allah wants good for a person, he gives him fiqh fi deen. Fiqh. Fideen. So, a sign that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves one of his servants is that they get fiqh fideen. So, the youth of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah need to first and foremost be of those who have fiqh fideen. And those who are striving to have fiqh fideen, to busy themselves with fiqh fideen. When you busy yourself truly with doing talab al ilm, you have less time for sin, less time for wasting time. And you're doing something that pleases Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and something that you will find that can be pleasing to yourself. So this is why Talib al-Ilm is something imperative for all of us. And that's why the Prophet sallallahu said, Talib al-Ilm furidatun ala kulli muslim wa muslim. That seeking knowledge is an obligation upon every Muslim man, and, uh, ma male and female. So the youth of Ahl Sunnah need al uh, for various reasons. So that they can be a source of guidance for others. And so that they will not be misguided by others. All of that comes with al And one of the ways that you can get al of course, the highest and best way is to atlab al-ilm ala aqdam al-ulama is to seek knowledge at the feet of the scholars. That's, that's the, the highest level right there. Is to go where the scholars are and seek ilm and nafiyah. But many people don't have that opportunity. Only a few of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's uh, uh, servants are favored with that ni'mah, min ni'amillah. So if you're unable to travel to seek knowledge at the feet of the ulama, at least seek knowledge at the feet of the, with the students of knowledge, hopefully that exist in your locality, wherever you may be. Atlub al-ilm. So that way you go through the kutub, the books of the salaf, with those people who have some fiqh deen. And those people who have hopefully sat with the ulama sunnah. And this helps you to keep grounded on something which is positive and, as we mentioned, will help you protect yourself and your religion. The second piece of advice is to make sure that you're practicing that knowledge. That in addition to gaining that fiqh fi deen, is that you are actually practicing the knowledge that you gain. So that means that, for example, if you're learning about Salat, you're learning Tahara, you're studying that, that you are practicing that, of course, you're practicing what you have studied. 
And this will help you with istiqamah. It will help you stay away from fitna and trials and tribulations and the tests in your, the various tests, or it will help you deal with the various tests in your iman. You'll still have the test. You'll still suffer or struggle with things that everyone else struggles with or many of the people struggle with, but you'll have additional tools to deal with the fitna and to deal with those things which distract you from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the more that you seek knowledge and the more that you remove yourself from fitna and you busy yourself with that which is good and that which is ilm al it will also reduce the fitna for you. The fitna will be less likely to be enter into your heart. And all of this requires, after, of course, practicing, of course, sharing, sharing with your brothers and sisters about what you learned. And the last thing is being patient, is that it requires patience when you're seeking knowledge, patience in giving dawah, patience in being uh, alone and being away from the activities that others are involved with. Others might be involved, they want to see the playoffs, they want to see the football game, they want to see the, the World Cup. But the one who is grounded in ilm is going to busy his or his, himself or herself with that which is going to bring him closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They're going to be less likely to spend their time on those kind of activities because they don't really have, they realize how precious their time is. That doesn't mean that it's Muharram, that it's, but the reality is the benefit is lay, lay somewhere else. So it's important because the problem that we find with the youth and with most of us is that we spend 23 hours seeking pleasure and we may if Allah has, has mercy upon us and has blessed you to even seek one hour of knowledge. But most of us don't even do that in reality. We make hajr from the Quran. We make hajr from the Sunnah. And we just get so caught up in the worldly things. We're working, we're doing this, we're doing this. But we spend little time trying to gain further knowledge about our deen. Instead, we're watching the latest soap operas. We know what Erdogan, or Erdogan uh, whoever he is, we know what he's doing, but we don't know the seerah of the Prophet And we don't know any of the Sahaba And perhaps we might not even understand or know the aqeedah of Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah. So it's imperative, Ahabatifillah, that you try to, to, to devote some of your time. And really that comes with time management. So this is imperative for the Talib al and it's imperative for the youth of Ahl Sunnah to manage your time. Take out some time for the pleasure that you're doing. If you go bowling, if you like to play football, if you like to do this, you like to hike, whatever it is. But make sure you have some time for drawing near to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and, and take some time to read some ayat from the book of Allah and something from the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So those are just some pieces of advice to the youth of Ahlul Sunnah and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us with ikhlas, with the bad and bless us to be of those who practice what we preach. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.